I'm Miles Flint, and for the last 10 years I've been working as a photographer. I worked for many years for Sony in the UK and later around the world, and I stopped full-time work about 10 years ago, did some part-time work subsequently, and the last five or six years photography has been my sole occupation. I started out with a business background, so everything was measurable. You knew how well you were doing. You knew if you made your quarterly numbers or your annual budget, then you were doing well. I think that most photographers are in some ways a little bit insecure. They know what they're doing, they know what they're trying to say, but nobody can measure and it very much depends on individual opinion. After many years of just taking pictures, I think it was 2009 when I heard uh, Phase One in association with a photography website were running a workshop in Death Valley in California. And I got on the waiting list and eventually I got a place and went out there for 10 days, I think it was. And I just realized how little I knew, how much I had to learn. And that's the time I began to read other books, look at other photographers, go to museums, art galleries, and really start to think much deeper about photography and art. Back in 2009, when I went to that workshop in Death Valley, we had quite a large number of Phase One management were present and they spoke. And I, listening to Phase One talking, I just got a real sense that this was a company that knew what it was doing. It was small, it's very much committed to R&D. And I just felt here's a company that's going to be around for a good time, good long time. Here's a company where I can get to know people from the company, which is much more difficult in larger camera manufacturers. The particular image is taken in a little village called East Gelderford in the south of England. But it's the result of a change of work style for me. I don't now go to particular locations that are well known where you've seen many of the images from the same location. But I now find the best thing to do is to take a day and then just go exploring. At this particular location I was driving down a narrow road towards the coast, the southern coast of England, and I looked out of the window to the left, down a little lane at the end of a field was this church. And I'd never seen a picture of it before, I didn't know anything about it, but I turned off the road, found a way to park, opened the gate, and there it was. When I look at churches, old churches like that, and other things in the countryside, I always think of who were the people who designed these? Who were the people who built them? So I'm not looking for kind of the hero landscapes, I'm looking for interesting things in the landscape. There's something I find enormously pleasurable is going out for a day of photography and making something, making an image that hasn't been made before. Coming home thinking, I've actually created something today. Uh, I'll live with it for a while, I'll put it on the wall and decide whether I want to keep it, whether it's worth sticking with, whether it needs further editing or further processing but there's a great pleasure in just spending a day and creating something that didn't exist before. It doesn't matter whether it's good or bad, it didn't exist before.